I'm Elizabeth Mattis Namgill. I want to welcome you to our website for the Middle Way Initiative, the nonprofit we founded last year. Our website provides information about the organization, my upcoming teaching events, videos, articles, and all episodes of the Open Question podcast. All of these activities align with the view and practice of the Buddha's Middle Way teachings. You may be wondering, well, what exactly is the Middle Way? You might assume that the Middle Way refers to moderation, like dividing your time into doing things that are 50% spiritual and 50% practical. Or you may assume that the term middle refers to taking a neutral position on an issue. But it's important to understand that there is nothing neutral about the practice of the middle way. It is a way of being that is awake, engaged, and discerning. The middle way is a practice of poising the mind so that it doesn't get caught in either this or that, is or is not, belief or doubt, good or bad, black or white. It has to do with going beyond the limitations of extreme thinking. Middle here doesn't mean being in between two things. It means completely stepping out of a binary system and that something magical happens when we do. We find that beyond the struggles of dogma or doubt, we encounter a world of living spirituality that instead of clinging to views is either right or wrong, we turn to conversation for learning and innovation. And we find that beyond the static labels we hold of friends or enemies, there lies a treasure trove of creative healing possibilities. The methods of inquiry that lie at the heart of the Middle Way teachings move us out of abstract ideas into the nature of relationship. They usher us out of coarse thinking and into nuance. In the Buddhist tradition, we call the methods of the Middle Way practice analytical meditation. I know analysis can sound off-putting and cold, but consider this. The ancient Greek root for analysis means to set free or loosen. I have learned from these teachings that inquiry is not just some intellectual endeavor. I would even go so far as to say that the process is devotional and that it opens both heart and mind and liberates us from the vague assumptions we have about the nature of things. Stepping out of dualistic limitations creates the opportunity for living spirituality. Living spirituality means that there is no division between spiritual and practical, which is exciting because it means that everything about life becomes valuable and a way to learn. Living spirituality is both ancient and relevant to our lives right now. Everything becomes an adventure. We can explore culture, language, music, and art. And this brings us back to the Middle Way Initiative. Since last year, we have produced an ongoing series of podcasts called Open Question, A Call to Inner Brilliance. All episodes are available on our website. So many accomplished and inquisitive people have joined me in conversation, including Zigar Kongtro Rinpoche, Lorraine Fox Davis, Jakob Leshley, Fleet Mall, along with many others. The Middle Way Initiative also examines the connection between creativity and Dharma practice. In 2020, we produced an online retreat called the Art Sutra, which offered explanation on the meaning of the renowned Buddhist text, the Heart Sutra, and included meditation instruction and interactive engagement in both visual arts and music. On the website, you'll find upcoming teachings, guided meditations, video offerings, and our blog. As we study and practice the Middle Way teachings, we summon our sense of curiosity and creativity, and this informs the way we experience and approach our lives. 
please join us at middlewayinitiative.org.